Hello, Earth Science class. This is Mr. Schweitzer again. I'm going to be doing another review video. Today is going to be just about page 8, just page 8, not page 9, but um, pretty much the main idea is that if you ever get a question that has the words geologic history in it, um, the answer 98% of the time will be right here. If it's not there, you're going to have to go to this page. Um, it'll probably ask you, like, uh, what geologic period did old forge rocks form in? You have to look at those symbols there. Um, so it looks like that little squiggliness. And then I find the symbol here. It says Middle Proterozoic. That's the uh, geologic period. But let's just focus on page 8 for now. So I am going to cover up page 9. And I'm going to cover up a majority of page eight, just so you can see this column here. Let me make sure it's focused on there. Okay, so here's the deal. The units for this are in millions of years. So something that you do have to know for this is that one million has six zeros in it. So since it has six zeros in it, and you see this number 1,000, you have to write 1,000 and then six more zeros after it. So 1,000 million years is actually equal to 1 billion years. So um, that's what you have to know for this, this column here. So if you look at where it says 4,600 right there, and it says estimated time of origin of Earth, Origin just means the beginning. So this is when Earth began. So I have to write, if they ever ask you the age of Earth, it's 4,600 million. So 4,600, and I know million has six zeros after it. So the age of the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Just so you know, that's a side note. Anyway, let's get into this. So, just looking at this column here, I've got question number one. Approximately 2.2 billion years ago. So we just realized, well, we figured out that the Earth is 4.6 billion. So 2.2 billion would be just about here, in between 2,000 and 3,000. Okay, so sorry about that, that announcement. Anyway, so um, approximately 2.2 billion years ago, which gas was first added in large amounts to the Earth's atmosphere? If you look here, oceanic oxygen begins to enter the atmosphere. Super easy. It's right there. You just have to know that you have to look on this page. Question two. Most of the oceanic oxygen that began to enter Earth's atmosphere in the early Proterozoic was probably produced by, and this goes back to living environment, um, you have to know that plant photosynthesis is what causes oxygen to be in the atmosphere. So anytime you see oxygen that uh, enters Earth's atmosphere, think photosynthesis, and also remember that you've got the answer right here for when it occurred. So this is going to be photosynthesis of cyanobacteria. Okay, so staying on this column right here, let me turn this over, staying on this column right here, um, we've got two major eons. We've got the Precambrian and we've got the Phanerozoic. Everything that you've ever heard of in your life pretty much happened uh, in the Phanerozoic, um, like dinosaurs and fossils. So pretty much all fossils happen within the Phanerozoic. So most of Earth's history, not much was happening. So we break up the Precambrian into the Archaean, Proterozoic. All right, Archaean and Proterozoic. So let's take a look at this. Which sequence shows the correct order of Earth's geologic time intervals from oldest to youngest? The oldest is down at the bottom. So that's going to be the Archaean. Proterozoic, so Archean Mesozoic, wrong. Archean Proterozoic, possibly. So let's make sure that we're we're good after that. Uh, Proterozoic, and if you look at the Phanerozoic, the Phanerozoic is broken into the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. So Archean, Proterozoic, Paleozoic, 
Mesozoic, Cenozoic. That's the order it goes in um, for question three. All right. So that pretty much breaks down this left column here. So if you watch this black bar here that goes across, all of this information from the Cambrian all the way to the current Quaternary, all of this fits into this small sliver of all of Earth's history right there. So the Paleozoic and Mesozoic and Cenozoic all occurred within the Phanerozoic. And uh, this is going to break down into even further smaller segments called periods. Periods are the most important thing on this table. That's usually what the questions are going to be asking you about. So um, let's take a look at this. Again, everything's in millions of years. So the Triassic to the Jurassic occurred 200 million years ago, that transition. All right, so let's take a look at this question to help understand this page. During which geologic period? Period. The answer is going to be here. Uh, did plants and animals first appear in land environments? So this is going to take some time. I have to look through all of this for plants and animals appearing in land environments. Um, earliest land plants and animals right there. It occurred during the Silurian. So earliest plants and land animals occurred during the Silurian. Let's try another one. During which geologic epoch? Oh, look, right next to period is epoch, so the answer is going to be here. During which geologic epoch do scientists infer the earliest grasses first appeared on Earth? So I just look through for earliest grasses, earliest grasses, earliest grasses right there. That's going to be, read over, epoch ologene. Is that an option? The ologene. Good work. Um, final question I'm going to do with you is going to be this question. So based on this map, uh, we've got to answer this question. Which life forms were living on Earth when India was at position A? So I don't know anything about India. You don't probably really know much about India when it comes down to geology. So position A occurred 71 million years ago. So let's take a look down millions of years. Do I see 71 million years ago on this side here? Eh, it's kind of hard to follow, so I'm going to look through this column. 71, 71, 71. I don't see 71, but I know 71 falls between 146 and 65. Which number is it closest to? 71 is definitely closest to 65. So if I read over, it's the, going to be in the Cretaceous. But what's it saying? Which life forms were living on Earth at position A? Let me read all the way over to here. Nautiloids, aminoids. Crinoids, dinosaurs, here's dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were alive 75, uh, 71 million years ago. So, my main advice for you, all in all, if you ever see this word geologic history, ever in a question, geologic, 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 um, these don't include the word geologic. But if you see that word geologic, your answer is going to be somewhere here. Okay?